Good morning, everybody. Today is April 20th, and yesterday was a rough day. It was windy, it was cold, and we struggled. So, what was it? Uh, Monday night, we almost got done the installing the, the blockage meter or sensors. And dad broke one because it was starting to get cold. So we, we stopped. Uh, I think it's still useful. Or usable. But uh, we got a couple new ones ordered anyways. So we didn't finish that yesterday because it was cold. What we worked on was changing the tires. All the front tires needed changed except for this outside set. We put one new one on there last year, and I think we put another new one on there my first year. So it's okay enough. But uh, what we we ordered tires to fit these guys. These are a goofy size. They're 17. What are they? Sorry, 19 R40. 190417s and you can see the other side we have still have off we got all the the 11 L15s on but then we were putting the la or what the first set of that and these they wouldn't clear the cast or the casters here I'm going to turn around the caster dollies wouldn't clear the subframe or the hitch frame. You can see there's not a lot of room to begin with. And what was it? Beginning of last year, we actually had to replace the bearings in these and tighten them up. And that definitely helped. But these tires are getting pretty checked up, so we were wanting to change them. We got the two on there, and they wouldn't clear... Um, they were kissing you can see where they would catch here this is before we tightened anything up last year's where they were rubbing and up here then we tightened everything up it was fine but you can see that's where it was catching with the new tires so tire guys looking into it see what we can do luckily you didn't toss them out or do anything bad with them so we'll see what that happens. And then yesterday, Dad went down, or we went down to the airport, set up an auger. We got a semi coming pretty much right now for a load. I think he's going to haul three today of wheat. So today, the plan is, I shouldn't say plan, but the hopes are that we will, once it's, it's actually kind of nice right now but we're gonna give it an hour or two and then i'm gonna jump and i'm gonna finish off the the blockage meters i keep on saying meters or sensors finish those off and then we'll plug them all maybe we'll leave the plugging in until later because that's that doesn't really need decent weather to do that just needs a a notepad and a lot of crawling around so probably after we're done that, if we can get the tractor to run, the the 4040 to run, we're going to haul all the points out here and we're going to change all the knives. So seed and uh, fertilizer shanks are all going to get ch changed. Well, we had a better day today. Didn't get everything we wanted done, but that hauled some grain. We've got all of the sensors there installed and plumbed in. And we've got a list of where everything is. So when I have to put it into the iPad, we know exactly which ports are which sensor. Morning, everybody. Sorry about the tractor noise, but she's just idling away. I'm setting up the intelligent egg blockage the recon program and so far it's actually really 
quite user friendly, at least for a guy like me that's got some computer skills a little bit. So I'm going to show you what we did and how it's working here. So as we connected all of those little stethoscope hoses, we just went row by row, like we would start on a tower, whatever one was easiest, and we would start assigning point ports. So, and usually because they're shared, typically what I would try to do is use the ones that, well, first one we didn't do 100% the easiest way. It's after we got into two and three, we started getting it pretty simple. So I would try and go as deep down as I could with any of the, like with any hoses, so that as we got further away, we would, we would keep some of the top ones because like the tops are 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14, 15. And it's just the way things worked out. So we recorded all that and we had two sets of eyes on it, despite the fact we did have a couple mistakes where I may have grabbed the, the seed instead of the fertilizer or vice versa because there's a lot of hoses hanging down, but we've got them all in. So now I'm in the program and we're setting up sections. So first step was to go, it asked how many ECUs? Well, that's pretty simple. I know there's eight of them because we installed eight. Then the next step was uh, how many sections, which means, well, I think it asked how many products. So that's why there's product A and B. And then it said how many sections? And because we are a dual shoot system, we're doing 16, and then I can assign whatever I want. At least I hope that's what the case is gonna be. So for this particular example, I've been just work product A, I, I should say, A is all of our fertilizer, and I've been, come here you, it was letting me move it before, but we're on fertilizer row six, so MB3F is the ECU. I'm gonna call this one, and I hope there's enough room for the names. It kind of looks like there will be. This guy's gonna be FERT. Six. And it should be noted that at times, we will flip flop whether we're putting seed down the fertilizer or vice versa. A good example is when we do our peas, we put the peas in the fertilizer shoots and the inoculant and the fertilizer down the seed. Now that's just because, well, we want the peas to be a little bit deeper. But as far as dad and I are concerned, all of the taller towers, and they're not much taller, our fertilizer because they go to the fertilizer knife which is the front knife of the two uh, the rear knife is the seed is what we call it anyways again they're interchangeable but that's where primarily we put the seed down so I'm labeling all these towers product a is the fertilizer and product B is going to be the seed so where am I? I'm on MB3F, which is MB3F. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight runs. And it's product A. So then I'm, I said eight, didn't I? Next. And then we're gonna just keep going. All right, so we got done assigning port numbers. Uh, I'm hoping, but I, I was hoping to have done it already, that each run could have been assigned a number, like run 54, instead of each, each bank having one to seven or one to eight. And so by default, it assigns them 
product A127 or 8, product B, B, depending on, like I said, if we have, depends on how many runs you have. But then all you got to do is just drag them to wherever they need to be. So in this case, 54F, which is product A, is run number one. And we start that because dad accidentally put that one on upside down or backwards. So once it warms up, we'll remember to change it. But yeah, that's product A run one is in port 10. So product A is the grays. Run one is in port 10. And then you can actually, if you have a bad sensor, you can just turn them on and off by the radial button. So we're done that. That took a while. Set up your work switch. Okay, well, I gotta go figure out which ECU has the switch attached to it and what position, but we do not have sectional control, so that's easy enough. Uh, the ECU, I'll, I believe it, it, I can see right now, it is over there. It's the one right at the, if you look at the conveyor spout, it's right below there. So that's number five. Number five is, it's a good thing we write all this down. Save me a trip up and down the ladder. Is MB3E. So MB3E. And it's currently raised. And I, I actually haven't stuck it. I stuck it beside. We just need to add a longer bolt to make it work. So I'm gonna say it's raised right now. We can adjust that later. Alarm delay, well, we'll have to figure that one out a bit later, but that's all customizable after the fact. So we should be done our, our configuration. So you can, once we figure out our mass flows, we can adjust those. And yeah, I, I think aside from, you know, calibrating this and setting the, the work switch, we're, we're done. Everything else is customizable. And like I said, if you ever need to, you can go to edit configuration and move products around. I'm just gonna cancel out of that. Yep. So now we're just gonna go to blockage and that's that's what it should look like. And it's just checking for sound on everything. What's it saying right now? Mass flow is zero. That should be green when the work switch is on. So it's probably just checking everything. This could be interesting if it is doing what I think it's doing once we get using it whether it flash like if we're having a blockage and it flashes because those numbers should jive with with our runs so i think we're done this for now looks like dad's brought over the knives so we'll start doing those and when she's set into place this has to get peeled off ah. this one is going to say why whatever it connects to for wi-fi i do that just so it can't be mistaken other than that i think looks pretty good we'll see how it works